Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier today, I posted a video that Microsoft was now making the new Windows 11 media player available to all Windows 10 users. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description if that would be of interest. Now, if you are using Windows 10 and also to some extent Windows 11 and you have downloaded the new uh, Windows 11 media player, um, there's a good chance now that you have two Windows media players installed on your device, meaning you would have the new Windows media player and then you would have the classic or old or legacy Windows media player, as some are now calling it, also installed on your device and the legacy Windows media player comes bundled by default in both operating systems. So if you want to free up a little bit of hard drive space or maybe you just don't want to be running two Windows media players alongside each other, in this video we are going to go through some steps as to how you can actually uninstall the classic or old or legacy Windows media player, whatever you want to call it, from your system and this applies both to Windows 10 and Windows 11. So to uninstall the legacy Windows media player, it's quite simple to do. At first, just head to your start menu, go right down to the bottom, click on Windows accessories, right click on Windows media player, click on uninstall, and this will take you directly to the optional features page, which is part of the apps and features in the Windows settings. And here you'll see Windows Media Player, click on that, click on uninstall, just follow the prompts and then you would have to restart your device. And once you've restarted your device, then the classic uh, and legacy Windows Media Player would be uninstalled from your system. Now, um, another way you can actually uninstall the legacy Windows Media Player, which is a bit more of a long way around, but nonetheless, just to show you in case you would be interested, is just to head to the control panel and if you don't know where the control panel is just do a search for control panel head over to your programs and features list and um, to the top left of the page just navigate to turn windows features on or off and click on that and here you'll see a list of all the different components and uh, mainly uh, legacy components that are installed on your device now what you need to do is just head over to media features Click on the plus sign to expand that and here you'll see Windows Media Player. Uncheck the box and then what you would do is click on yes, follow the prompts once again and you would most probably have to restart your device again and once you've restarted your device uh, that means then that um, classic and the legacy Windows Media Player would be uninstalled um, from your system thereby just giving you a little bit more um, disk space, a bit more system resources and then not having to run two Windows Media Players alongside each other and then you can just enjoy the new Windows Media Player if you are using it without any confusion. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.